tight lies. Even the best players in the world sometimes get a little freaked out when they're faced with a tight lie to a short pin, not much green, a little short-sided. The key to these shots is in the setup and understanding how to use your wedge. It's important to understand that the sand wedge is different from the other clubs in the bag. The bounce, the wedge, it's much wider, the sole is much fatter, and I'm going to use this bounce and use this fat sole and swing that fat sole right into the ground, use the ground as a backboard. In order to do that, the setup is critical. First thing I want to do is I want to get the shaft straight up and down because what's important here is that the bottom of the arc be directly underneath the golf ball. If I lean the shaft forward too much at a dress, that ball is going to come off the face much too fast. So I want that shaft pointing right in the middle of my body, straight up and down. I'm going to open the face a little bit and that's going to allow the bounce to be exposed. Once I open the face, I've got the shaft set. I want to make sure my upper body is right shoulders high. If I get that right shoulder down low, chances are the bottom of my arc is going to be way too far behind the ball. So I'm going to stay tall with my right side, set my body nice and level, back and through. Another key aspect of this shot is you don't want the handle to move a lot. If that handle gets a long way from the golf ball, it becomes more difficult to get the bottom of the arc directly under the ball. So I like to think of my arms not really swinging too much in this scenario. And uh, I'm going to set that club down right there. I'm going to keep the handle kind of quiet and let the club swing. Again, I'm using the ground as a backboard and I'm hitting the ground with the bottom of the club. That's the key. Work on this. Your short shots will get much better and those tight lies, you'll be able to get those up and down.